It feels like it might fall off actually. A little bit low, so you look down into it like that. Okay. It's not doing anything. <laughs> I prefer if I can get my ears under it. Oh yes, now I can see a slightly different screen. Uh, I think that's better. Let's yeah. just, oh, that's it. And then where, where was the uh, adjuster? How does that feel now? Oh, it feels alright now. It doesn't make you look sexy, but this could be the next big thing in computing. A computer that you wear. It has all the functions of a normal computer. It's just that you do it with voice commands interacting with this little screen. For our purposes, what I can see in my little screen, you can see in that computer over there. And so, with Paul's help, we're just going to put it through its paces. Let's kick us off. Let's do an email. Email centre. So you now see you've gone into your emails. So you've got a, a long range of emails there. So perhaps if you move to the next page. Go to page two. Go to page two. So there you go, it's translated across. Now you can actually open up the emails. Go to email one. And you can scroll through the pages, move through the email as you've read it. Scroll, is that how you do that? Next page. Next page. And there we are, next page. This piece of kit is mainly to be used in a work environment. The camera up here, it's been shown on that screen, so for example, my boss could supervise me remotely from a distance seeing what I can see in front of him. And as I move my head around, the picture on that computer in, that you can see is, is moving around. So I can show everything that's in a room just by looking around and somebody else can remotely see exactly what I see and check on what I'm doing. Paul, I've got quite fond of this kit now, but... Um, Who's actually going to buy it? Who's it for? So this is for remote workers um, that need their hands free, but they need critical uh, information for the role that they're performing. So if you imagine somebody servicing a cell site tower, perhaps they're up a cherry picker, um, they need all the schematics, all the information in front of them, but they've got their tool belt, they obviously don't want to be holding on for their life. Um, that's where it's designed for, for users. A few months ago there was a lot of fuss about Google glasses. They look a little bit like sunglasses, only with a little screen in one corner, and they look really, really cool. You're going to have a lot of trouble competing with someone like that, aren't you? Absolutely, and we, we're not competing against them. This is for a di very different customer. Um, you imagine those engineers, if they don't fi uh, finish the repair maintenance that time, and my mobile phone's not working, then I'm on to the, the operator complaining. They want the job done the first time right. But is this the beginning of something much bigger, where... In future, instead of sitting in front of our computers, we might have a different relationship with them, we might, we might be wearing with them, and also we'll be communicating them with them in a very different way, like the voice commands that we've just done with this one. Yeah, very much so. I mean, the ability to have all the information you need right at your fingertips and to be able to interact through a voice. And you also, as you've seen, you're not limited by the, the screen size of the device that you have. Because you have this virtual canvas, you can look around a large document, mm. zoom in on the element. So yes, it's absolutely going to uh, change the way that we think about interacting with mobile computers. And the fact that it's wearable around your head uh, leaves you completely free. You haven't got to pick it up, you haven't got to fiddle with it, you just voice command and away you go. Never Navigate home. No. It's not doing anything. No, it's not, uh, oh yes, now I can see a slightly different screen and it's giving me what looks like a time.